Welcome back to another review. I got pretty busy, so this one was a bit delayed, but if I'm being completely honest, I need to revisit that tropical happy place that I was in a couple months ago. So we're gonna review the Salt Gypsy bikinis. This one might be a little bit longer because I am gonna review every single piece that I tried individually. After meeting with the brand, I learned about their values and their core reasons why they make the bikinis the way that they do and the things that they value as a brand, which is really important to me. When they asked me to come to the showroom when I was in Australia, I was delighted. Like whenever a brand wants to meet me in person, I'm over the moon. I, at the end of the day, I left that meeting really happy. They were in it for the right reasons and I love all of the ladies over there, they have the right intentions for this brand. So just off of that, I support their brand. Now I'm gonna jump into the review of each piece that I tried and my opinion on it. The waves weren't huge on my surf trip where I tested these bikinis. There was a few days where I did surprisingly get like a little bit more worked than I was expecting to, but by no means were they put to the test in like double overhead pumping barrels. I still think I have a pretty accurate representation of how each bikini functioned in the water. So the first three pieces I'm gonna cover are newer collections that are coming out in a month or two, I believe. So the patterns like this red one, I believe it's called the Sun. I don't know the names. I'll put all the details on the screen and I will write below them if they're a newer collection. Also, a lot of questions I got on TikTok were where can I find these? I don't see them on the website. They are also sold at Free People. This first little two-piece set, th this particular pattern in the two-piece set and in the little jumpsuit, the fabric was different than the other pieces that I tried like this. So this particular fabric was a little bit more like Lycra, if that makes sense, and um, more water wicking, bit less forgiving. But that being said, I was very true to size. I do think that the places where they put the parts where the bikini hugged your body versus the parts that were a bit more forgiving was well thought out. This is me being very picky. In the top, um, I found that the crops that were shaped like this, tank top style that you put on, they were very tight. Um, they did stay on really well. And I do remember trying on a medium in this top and it was a little bit too big. So I would say either use a fabric that's a little bit more forgiving or just allow for some extra room in the bust area. Um, they worked really well. They didn't give me rashes. They have the perfect size cut on the armhole so that you didn't get a rash right here under your armpit where you end up paddling and rubbing a lot. Fabric was comfortable and I did actually end up turning the bottoms backwards. I just like the slightly more cheekier look. Past experience with bottoms with more coverage, they tend to fill with water, but I don't know what they did on like the waistband and the distribution of where like they put the elastic parts and slash the tighter and looser parts on this was really well thought out. Like it, it, it did work really well. I wouldn't say they're my absolute go to reach for those every single time I go surfing, but I do like them a seven out of 10. And one of the brand's main focus is making bikinis that are feminine and beautiful and flattering, but also protect you from the sun. That's like one of their main focuses as a brand. And I think they do that really well. I did feel cute and feminine, but I also had majority of my skin more covered, which was really nice because I got pretty sunburned the first day in the Maldives. Next, we're going on to the Jane jumpsuit. I want to, I might be butchering that name. So cute. It's one of my absolute favorites. I wear it to coffee. It's so flattering. It makes the bum look so cute. The thighs are not too tight. The zipper is very easy to use. It is plastic, which I love because they don't erode so easily. It wasn't ever getting stuck. This suit was really easy to put on and off. Didn't have any rashes in this. Uh, as you can see, I situated a little bit higher on my thighs, but after that, it didn't ride up anymore. The only, only, only critique I have on this it tends to camel toe. So what I'd recommend is in the suit, I believe they do have a gusset sewn out. I would recommend putting, not a pad, but like something thicker in the gusset area. Cause if it's just fabric, it literally clings to every little crevice, if you know what I mean. So that's my only recommendation with this. However, I was able to like situate it and move it around in the water to the point where it was fine. And I did enjoy surfing in it, but that is like me being picky, extra little detail that I would add. I do love the neckline and the straps stayed on my shoulders. And this is a very good example of looking 
amazing while being protected from the sun. 9.5 out of 10. So they do make the same surf suit in that other sun. I think it's called the Sun God. Oh my God, I need to look this up before I start recording these reviews. <laughs> but this is the suit I'm talking about. This is the same suit, but in a different print. And like I said, the material in this print is different. So this material was slightly different. It hugged my thighs a little bit more. Lycra is the only kind of word I can think of. I don't know if anybody knows what I mean by that. But you know when you like like a jersey that you'd wear uh, for a surf contest or like silky slash bikini like whereas the black and white one is more like cottony but also moisture wicking water at the same time. Prefer the black and white one over the material made for this one. But again, look how cute, nine out of 10. Okay, this next little set, I actually didn't end up trying out the rash guard. I'm just not a rash guard gal and this color is very bright for me. Color looks great on me. Um, it was really comfortable when I tried it on. I like that it has the little ruching option on the sides. It is nice, but I can't, I can't say for how it went in the surf, although it did feel like perfect fit. No tightness when I'm moving around the shoulders, no extra fabric on the wrists or the arms. Perfect. Didn't try in the surf, so I'm not gonna rate that one. But let me get to the star of this little set right here, which is the black shorts. I think these are called like, they're black surf short and they are award winning. I think this might be one of my favorite products of this whole video. These black shorts, not only are they so cute, I don't know what material this is, but it is so comfortable. It's so flattering. It literally like hugs your body. It doesn't rub like, I loved wearing these. These kind of surprised me because it felt like the fabric would like not really cling to you in the water. It felt like it was kind of gonna like come off. But then once I wore them in the water, I was so satisfied. It felt like I was wearing nothing. They stayed exactly where I needed them to stay. I think I also rotated, turned these backwards and I also ended up folding the waistband down a little bit more just because I have a shorter torso and they were so cute. This is one of my favorite pieces. Like there's a reason these are award-winning and they are gonna be an evergreen staple piece. So if you buy one thing from this video, I recommend buying those. Absolute 10 out of 10. Now let's talk about this checkered top that I wore with them. This one is gonna be similar feedback to the other little cropped top that I showed you in the first video. This was also very tight, really hard for me to get on and off. Like, I don't know about you, I feel like I'm gonna like dislocate a shoulder when I'm trying to take off tops like that after surfing. Um, I was actually doing the whole like pull one arm in and get it off type thing. It is really cute and I think checkers are coming back again in between sizes. So the medium was a bit too big, the small was a bit tight. But as you can see, I still have like enough room around the neck, enough room around the shoulders, like it wasn't too small. Um, so I just tend to not typically gravitate towards such restrictive tops. Whenever I order bikinis, I usually order like an extra small bottom and a small top. I just hate being like restricted up top, but I do love that piece for the sun protection. I'd say eight out of 10 because we're talking about function here and maybe that'll fit you better than it fit me. I think the fabric could be a little bit more stretchy. Like I think if they use the fabric that they use on the black um, staple like shorts on that top, that could be that could be getting somewhere. Let's move on to this purple little lavender bikini set. The top was one of the best surf tops I've surfed in that doesn't have a tie. So typically with surf tops, a lot of the ones that I've reviewed before that have performed really well have some sort of tie or adjustment that like crosses on your back. I just feel that really like that means it's not going anywhere. Um, so I was really surprised by this just having the shoulder strap and staying on so well. It was really comfortable. The fabric is stretchy. The straps are thick. It actually gave me support. I don't have larger boobs so like I can't speak for that. When I was at the showroom meeting one of the girls with larger breasts she said that that was one of the best tops she surfed in. It does provide a lot of support around the um, band here. It has a little bit like of a tighter spot to like keep you in and supported. Uh, that was one of my favorite bikinis that I tried on that day and was one of my favorite ones in the surf. Again, top that doesn't have a tie or any sort of adjustment to perform that well. I was really impressed. Um, and the color is just beautiful. So that was definitely probably my favorite bikini. And that's it with the matching bottoms, which I already have on backwards, as you can see the little tag outline. Um, so I think these are the cheeky bottoms. I turn them backwards because I hate when bikinis like make a crease of fabric in the middle of my butt. So typically when I 
turn them backwards, I have less coverage on the butt, more coverage on the front, and then I can somewhat avoid that crease in the butt. These bikini bottoms performed pretty well. I like how they sit high on my hips, hugged on the side, but not too much that it was like unflattering. Cause I'm not a very curvy girl. It's hard for me to find higher hip like bikinis that stay up that high. Um, and this one stayed up that high. I don't know if these would stay on in like absolute pumping overhead beach break. I need to like preface that when I say like gnarly waves, I mean, gnarly waves like I would wear this bikini on a three to four foot fun day but when it comes to like waves like this or like you know just like really crucial times I typically always gravitate towards like a one piece so that's like the highest standard possible when I say like pumping waves typical normal fun day of waves I would wear this bikini again this bikini was probably my second favorite after the black shorts. I'm a girl who prefers stuff on the lower end of coverage, but um, for those of you that are higher end of coverage, this is like the number one brand I, re I recommend. I'm gonna give the top a 10 out of 10, and I'm gonna give the bottoms nine out of 10. So that is all the pieces that I tried and shot in the Maldives. And um, I was, again, very pleasantly surprised with Salt Gypsy. I will be working with them again. I love, I love, love, love their pieces. Love, love, love them as a brand and um, I highly recommend. I'll put all the details in the caption as well as links to each product. For further details on my review, I will be writing up an article on my channel on Surfer Magazine. Magazine. That's it. Thank you so much, Salt Gypsy. I'm so glad you guys reached out to me. And um, I just, I can't wait to see what else you keep coming out with. And with that concludes another review. Thank you guys always for watching. Uh, comments and your likes and subscribes mean everything to me, starting my own business at 23. So I hope you find value in these and um, I'll catch you on my next surf trip.